Scotty, I saw your face over there. He sacrificed for this team. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's a sacrifice. Some sacrifice might have been too much. <laughs> he gave up a lot. Right? <laughs> he also gave up that starter's role. Yes. Also. I mean, he was a starter on the team. He was he was not on the on the border. He was definitely starter level. Can you imagine them coming to you and saying, oh, we actually just think you'll give us a little more off the bench? You know what? That just goes to tell you that the game is bigger than any individual. And him using this as an example, coming off the bench, sacrificing, not being an all-star for mm -hmm. years, uh, just giving up that superstar role completely and sacrificing for the benefit of the San Antonio Spurs, the championships that they've won. Um, you know, when you win, good things come out of it. And this is a prime example of a guy that believed in that. Yeah. You know, he's sitting here now, so the story's not as good because Scotty's here. <laughs> but no, but Manu Ginobili, I mean, their careers reminded me of each other, one yeah. another, the way they came in. Right. Guys who were not expected to contribute at that level, yeah. whose roles evolved over time. God knows Scotty had to continue to be in the starting lineup. But Scotty goes to the point where, I mean, he's essentially. I don't care who they introduced as the point guard. Right. He had the ball and he was making the plays and it was his judgment that wound up being at the heart of a championship team many times mm -hmm. over. And Manu, whatever it was that, that, that Pop needed, I just saw Tony Parker a few minutes ago and he was still like glowing over just being able to be in attendance last night and speak on behalf of his guy. Yes. And I, it, it just reminds me of how, th how people evolve. And Scotty, only you would know this. What the ability to practice against with the players you practiced against and with every day and the player and the man you were coached by, particularly the second half of that career, that reminds me of Manu too. How, how important is that in terms of the development of a player who goes from small situation, not much expected to boom? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's very important because I think as a player, you have to sacrifice no matter what. And I, there's no player in this game that has sacrificed more than this young man. If you had, if they had come to you, if Phil Jackson had come to you and said, you know what, Scotty, I, I just, I need you to come off the bench, how hard would that have been? It wouldn't have, it, it wouldn't have been a good fit for me. And especially <laughs> with a lot of the controversy of Tony Kukoc right, coming right. there. You know, it, 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 oh, was it there controversy over that? I don't remember. Yeah, it was I don't a little remember. bit of controversy. But <laughs> I, I just don't think I was cut out to be a player to come off the bench. Mm -hmm. I believe that I was cut out to be a leader, mm -hmm. and that was a role that I only accepted. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you look at what Mono did. Um, I take my hat off to him. And the fact that he did it with class, and he did it under one of the toughest coaches. Most guys would have, like, trade yeah. me. I, I don't yeah. want to play for this guy. He's right. yelling. He's not starting me. But he he took it like a man. And look at the huge reward of getting your jersey hung up. Yeah, well, you saw those four trophies behind them during the ceremony last night. I wouldn't know I wasn't in that locker room, but the guys on that team say they do not believe they would have had those titles oh, no. if it wasn't for him making that decision, accepting that role. It's what clicked and made so much of it work. And... I mean, look, I think Brent Barry said it best. He said, Tim Duncan is the most revered in San Antonio, but he said that he thinks Manu is the most loved. And I, I buy that.